This weekend, we'll see the world's top men and women battle it out for top honours at the South African Open, as well as ranking points as the window to qualify for the Rio Paralympics nears closure. But the event is also about giving exposure to wheelchair tennis and its talented players. On day one of the tournament, a special exhibition match took place with Kaiser Chiefs duo of Daniel Cardoso and Tepo Maselela teaming up with world number one Stefan O'Day and South African number one Evans Maripa. They're unbelievable, to be honest. You know, being in a wheelchair and competing like this, the way they cover the ground, the way they hit the ball, it's unbelievable. You know, they indeed they are inspirational to, to me and lots of other South Africans out there. The pair of Cardoso and Maripa triumphed after an exciting match and the top-ranked player in South Africa had some advice for the footballers. I think they should stick to football. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, they can come for some lessons after football, you know, so I'm, I'm ready, you know, <laughs> to, to teach them some lessons. Maripa, who lost to her day early in the day in the singles, will now turn his attention to the doubles, but feels that the sport is growing and benefiting from tournaments like the SA Open. I think the sport as, as, a, as a whole in South Africa is now even growing quicker. We have 550 players already that are coming, so... And there are some youngsters that are showing signs of being in the top, so it's, it's really great. For the top-ranked player in men's wheelchair tennis, South Africa is one country getting it right. And it excites the Frenchman to see the talent being produced and excelling at the sport. I'm always very happy to be in this country, which is an example for the world. 550 players they take care about. And, um, Men's division, women's division, quads division, they're all involved in uh, wheelchair tennis. And I think coming from South Africa, uh, having such an example worldwide, it's just amazing. The exhibition match may have been fun and games, but the pressure is now on the participants at the tournament as this is their last opportunity to qualify for the Rio Paralympics. They'll have to produce the goods this weekend if they're to stand any chance of booking their place at the sporting showpiece later this year. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.